Number 44. Which of the following is the major product of the reaction between 2-bromopentane and sodium ethoxide in ethanol? So let's draw a picture. Here we have pentane. And we have a bromine on carbon 2. Now we're going to react this with sodium ethoxide, NaOET. ET stands for ethyl. And this is going to be in ethanol, ETOH. Now looking at our products, we see that we're converting an alkyl halide into an alkene. So this is going to be an elimination reaction. And we have a secondary alkyl halide. Ethoxide is not a weak base, but it's a strong base. Whenever you see oxygen with a negative charge that's not stabilized by resonance, you're dealing with a strong base. Strong bases favor E2 reactions, weak bases favor E1 reactions. Now on the primary carbon, we have three different hydrogens that we can take out. On this carbon, we can remove two different hydrogens. Now which hydrogen will the ethoxide go for? The white hydrogen or the blue hydrogen? What would you say? If ethoxide goes for the white hydrogen, the base is going to grab the hydrogen. The carbon-hydrogen bond will break. Those electrons will be used to form a pi bond and the leaving group is going to leave. All of these processes will occur at the same time, which means that the E2 reaction is a concerted reaction mechanism. So if we go for, if the strong base removes the white hydrogen, we'll get one pentene as a product. Now, if it goes for the blue hydrogen, we're going to get two pentene. Now it can go for the blue hydrogen or the green hydrogen. So we can get a mixture of products here. Depending on which one it goes for, we can get trans two pentene or we can get cis two pentene. It's not possible to get three pentene. Because when you name this alkene, it's going to be between carbons 2 and 3, and automatically it's going to be called 2-pentene. So 3-pentene simply doesn't exist. So those are the three possible products that we can get. Which one is going to be the major product? The major product is usually the most stable alkene. And the most stable alkene is going to be trans 2 pentene. This is a mono substituted alkene. As you can see, if you look at the two double bonded carbon atoms, there's only one R group or one carbon attached to those two double bonded carbon atoms. Both of these are di substituted alkenes. So they're much more stable than a mono substituted alkenes. This one has two R groups. And the same is true for this one. It has two R groups as well. Now the trans isomer is going to be more stable than the cis isomer. So that's why this is going to be the major product. The minor product, the less substitute alkene, this is known as the Hoffman product. The major product, which is not always, but typically the more substituted alkene, that's the Zaitsev product. Some books spell Zaitsev the other way as S-A-Y-T-Z-E-F, something like that. But the answer for this problem is going to be trans to pentene. So answer choice C is the correct answer. If you use a strong unhindered base, 
the major product is going to be the Zaitsev product. If you use a bulky base, a strong hindered bulky base, typically the Hoffman product will be the major product. Now this is for those of you who want to get access to all of my video playlists and exam review videos all in one spot. So if you go to video-tutor.net and if you go here, click more, video playlists, you can get access to all the different video playlists that I have on my YouTube channel and also the final exam review videos as well. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance.